What is going on guys? It's awesome from Match here, and I'm going to do what the kids call today a cut comp. And it's this is more based on the topic. I am gonna be playing this uh, free for all game here, but uh, it's more this is more based on the cut com or the commentary because it's a topic. I feel like it's a good topic for like especially like a lot of young people out there. Uh, younger kids or maybe even like adults like I don't know how many adults watch me But I do know I did have to teach my mom like how to internet right? I don't know why I'm gonna title this video But maybe like or how to deal with haters or how to deal with people on the internet that are just fucking nasty to you right part of my language This is just something that I'm, I'm pretty passionate about if I'm passionate about something I'll be very verbal and yeah pretty much very verbal and very honest about what I have to say because if I'm passionate about this shit how to deal with haters when you come on this internet space You're gonna you're, you're probably gonna meet a lot of fucking people that just that that'll say nice things and people that'll say bad things Oh wow, that could have been something cool. That'll probably say bad things right and personally how I deal with them I just think what are the chances I am ever going to meet this person right in front of you? You know, like it's just, it's, it's a comment, it's a thing of words. It could be anyone saying that. It could be, they could be trolling you, they could be messing around. They could be serious 100%. At the end of the day, it's up to you, honestly. It's honestly, that's what I tell a lot of people. It's up to you if you let these people get under your skin. But you just gotta think of the bigger picture. This is just some person online who just said something negative about you, your family, your mom, your face your hair, anything like that. This is just some random person who is blessed enough to have the internet or have a phone or have some 3G type shit just on their phone or found McDonald's Wi-Fi and just decided to say one nasty thing about you. And that's all. That's all it ever is. And that's how I think of it. that's how I think of haters. Like sometimes they, sometimes they get under my skin once in a while. Um, I'll read some things and I'll just be like, I'll be it'll be hot in my room, or you know, I'll be in a you know, just a, in a shitty mood for whatever reason. And I'll I'll just it'll get under my skin and I'll I'll respond back to them. But then like after I say those words, you know, after I type them out, I feel better. Right? I feel I feel better that I got to say it. But it's also I I have done this before. I have the amount of times I've written tweets out to people. And just looked at it, looked at their account, realized that that's all that person is ever doing, and just deleted it, and I just instantly feel good. I'm just like, you know what, I'm glad I typed that out, now I know, alright? And that's and literally what it is. Half the time, they do it for response, right? And think about it, like, I, I, I know firsthand, I've, I've, been, I've been picked up by my, by my cousins and all that, and obviously it was like family and all that though, right? And the main reason they did it was because I would give a reaction out of them. Right? You know, I would start, I would tell them to stop, stop, stop. I would do all that type of stuff. And that's what made them do it. If you take that away from them, then there's literally no fucking point to them doing that. Or you stand up for yourself and say, yo, shut the fuck up. Block, bitch, what's up? And what the fuck is this? Now I have to deal with this again. All right, so now we're waiting here, back trying to get on Black Ops 2. Hold on, people, hold your horses. MW2, you fucking idiot. Block. Bitch, what's up? All right, now we're rolling back in. We're in there. I don't know what I was talking about before, but I'm just gonna start off from here. A lot of people have different ways of dealing with haters, right? There's there's so many different ways of just dealing with fucking trolls or whatever. I have a personal favorite, to be honest. I have a personal little favorite, and that's that's muting, right? Like especially on Twitter, I I enjoy muting people because half the time you you are, you like never see them unless somebody fucking one of your your followers talks to them. That's when you see them, but. I've, I've had people who say like, fucking block me, man, fucking block me. He's there holding the gat at me, block me, man, block me. And I'm sitting here like, how about I mute you just so you don't get whatever you fucking wanted. I know they're probably just like, oh, he got me, he got me. Well, who fucking wasted their time tweeting at me that, right? Now you're going to waste all this time tweeting at me, but it's never going to be seen. It's never gonna be seen. If you're like an up and coming YouTuber, you wanna do YouTube videos and all that, think about it. It's not like something you should look forward to, but it's a different way of thinking about it. So whenever you have somebody uh, who will comment on each and one of your videos, something nasty, right? Like you always, you guys always see those people on my videos. You see them on like Apex's videos, Nature's videos, Rain's videos, every everyone's videos. You'll see this like one person who's constantly like tweeting or like commenting nasty stuff at them but next thing you know you gotta realize that person is clicking on every single one of their videos that's one active fucking subscriber man and honestly like if it's like that you're already winning for yourself by them clicking on the video that's another view thumbs up for that man you're you're getting a view here don't try and kill me my friend i am on your team in this free-for-all no not really there's so many things to to think about like when people are commenting videos like you got like it's always good to like know that like maybe they just don't understand you know maybe maybe they're not young and maybe they're not old enough to like like understand that and yes age is a very big 
thing. I am a true believer in like, when somebody comments something, their age and all that, because I was in that position. I've been like that. And I, I've, the amount of times, like my point of view, my mentality is changing, but like when I fucking, like a year, when a year happens, right? I just think like, oh, okay, he's like, he's fucking 15. Oh, all right. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna let him give, I'm gonna give him another year that he can come back and see if he's fucking different. If not, Go away. But at the end of the day, a block button is is probably your best friend. Honestly, a block button, a delete. Because, like I said at the beginning of this video, 99% of them do it for reaction. That or they're just fucking sad people. Alright, that's literally what it is. Casey Nisad actually did an awesome video. Uh, like, for the haters or something like that. Dealing with that type of stuff. He did an awesome video on that. That's probably one of my favorite videos um, that he's ever done. Or just favorite one of, one of my favorite videos that's ever been put on like the internet, right? Oh, look at me go. Oh boy, I missed on purpose. I'm just kidding. Look at him go. Oh boy. This guy up here. At the end of the day, like for the overall point of this video, you gotta realize like being think of think of being a hater. Like just honestly, I think about that all the time. Like when when somebody's sitting there typing this thing, right? They're sitting there, they're they're typing, they're they're spending their time to click on your profile, click on your tweet, click on your Facebook profile, clicking on your thing, going out of the way of their life, and yes. Sure, they're probably gonna say, oh, it's just a tweet away, though. Well, you're still fucking doing it, buddy. You're still literally going out of your way just to say these fucking things. Like, they're sitting there. Like, that, like, half the time is like when they sit there all day. Think about it. This is somebody sitting there all day typing out these things just for whatever reason. And honestly, they'll keep. The thing is, like, you could. They could get no attention, like, whatsoever, right? They could get absolutely no attention from that, like, comment or whatever. They'll keep doing it. Which is. Which is. At that point, it all becomes up to you how you take it. Laugh at it. You take it seriously. If you take it seriously, um, it's kind of. It's kind of all on you. It's. It's really at all, like, how you feel that day. That's. Because there's days when hating comments, like, they get under my skin, too, right? But. And I'm, I thought I just hit a trick shot there, but that would have been cool. Oh. Run. Alright, I shouldn't have done that. I'm sorry. I'm fucking sorry! On another side note, just to tell you guys something a little bit about me. Um, uh, you guys, I've, I'm sure I've said this before, but for the new people that are here, if you guys are new here or not. Uh, I'm one of those people that I, I will be a douchebag or completely ignorant to people that are ignorant to me. Right? Like, if somebody's out there being a douchebag, commenting, hating, or whatever, I'll be super ignorant, and I'll, I will actually, I will like, what people say, flex. I will flex on that person and be like, fuck you, man. I got all these supporters behind my back. I don't need to bother about you. You're sitting there wasting your time. I, in those moments, I brag about you guys. And those, those are the only moments. Like, I'm only, I'm only ever, only, only ever like that when somebody has something really ignorant or so, like, he's just... He's, he says something really arrogant at me or like something like that. They like I, I, that's the only time I ever do that Other times I just ignore him. I'm just like alright man. Do you man? Just do you. I, I have a trouble I have trouble explaining stuff and people misunderstand a lot of my words and they twist it up I'll say that like every I should say that or put that in the description to every one of my videos You might misunderstand me. Don't misunderstand me. Don't twist my words. Oh, that is something a lot of youtubers go through man Especially on Twitter when people rant on Twitter um, 140 characters is not nearly enough, right? It's not enough. And I've never, actually, there is such thing as called twit longer. I've never done one of those before. But either way, I'm one of those people that'll miss points. Someone will say something, it's like, oh, I forgot to say that. Oh, it's too late. But, but yeah, this is kind of like a, a rant slash, like, kind of, I don't know. Kind of like a rant type video, I guess you could say. Or more of like a, you know, kind of, I don't know, mindset type video. I don't know. I've done these videos uh, before. Uh, way back in the Black Ops 2 days, but, um, you know, I just figured I'd do one of these videos now, because, like, um, I don't know. I've, I've had friends who've been getting hated on. I've had, uh, like, I get uh, messages all the time on Facebook, on the Facebook fan page. I read them. It's hard to get back to all, every single one of them. And they're just like, you know, how do you just deal with this? I have friends that are just disagreeing with just everything, right? And, you know, people people change. You know, it's 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 tough uh, when people say like don't change whatever. Literally, change is literally bound to happen, right? Something you should guys ask yourself: Were you guys the same person you guys were five years ago? You know, were you the same last year? Were you the exact same? Did you have the exact exact same mentality as you did last year? Were you were you the same five years ago? 
And that's that's when a lot of people say like they I get I get this comment all the time, right? Like you know, Pomaz, you were I liked you when you were better in optic or you better in phase and all. That was like two or three years ago, right? Two two to four years ago. And I was asking was like, dude, like I was like four I was younger then. I'm 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 a I'm a different person. I've grown more into the, the type of person I am, right? And change is bound to happen. When people say change is bad, ch change is bad, change is change is good. Regardless, change is bound to happen, right? Um, something to always think about. So ask yourself, were you the same five years ago? Is somebody there? No, that's downstairs. Okay. So, I hope you guys do enjoy this video. I am about to lose this free for all because, uh, yeah, I don't know if I can come back. Hold on, let's see what we can do. Nope, I absolutely suck. But anyway, if you guys enjoyed this video, leave a thumbs up. Hopefully, this helped you get through your day. Hopefully, this might have helped you in some way possible. Um, I figured, hopefully, this did show you guys. Oh my gosh, he's so good. Did you guys see that? I thought he just killed him out of randomly, but he actually. Bah! He did that. But anyway, hope this guy's uh, told you guys a little bit more about like my current, you know, insight about the haters and all that, and how to deal with them. If you guys are struggling through that, if you guys have haters in your life or like bullies or anything like that, just realize half the time, in, in my personal perspective, they do it for the, you know, the reaction. So it's it's uh, if you if you have a stronger mind than them, then. You'll do just fine. You just gotta be, you just gotta be brave, man. You just gotta be 100% brave. So I'm Austin Magic. You guys have a fantastic day. Have a great weekend. Great videos coming out tomorrow. And I will see you gorgeous faces later.